I cannot stress that enough. This shoe is very, very comfortable. Very, 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 very comfortable. But you don't get too comfortable. Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video will be a shoe review. So welcome to Sneaker Talk like I'm a sneaker. Alright, before we get into this shoe review, make sure you guys are subscribed. Alright, let's get into this Sneaker Talk. So today I will be reviewing the Nike Air Vapor Max Plus versus the Nike Air Vapor Max 360. Alright, let's start with these. Nike Air Vapor Max 360s. So I came across these when I was looking for some shoes for work. I always want to go with all black and the most important, it has to be comfortable. So I came across these and I've never had any shoe like this at the bottom. So that was something new I decided to try. And what I like about these, I love the color. I like when it's an all black shoe, but it has a splash of something else that makes the shoe pop. And that was the Nike sign color. It was the blue for me. And also, if you see the little black shiny part, it's like metallic -y, So when the light hit it right, it has this color on it. I'm going to try to get it for y'all. See if y'all can see. When the light hit it right, that color comes out. I will say, when you purchase a shoe, read the reviews. Read the reviews. So, I'm a mid-type girl. I don't like a low top. So, when the low top make me look like I wear a size 5 and not a size 10, that's a plus for me. And that's what these did. These are size 10, but they give it an 8.5. Uh -huh. So, I like that about it. It looks smaller. But, on the other side, I don't like it fits smaller. So, even though these are size 10, they do not fit like a 10. So, I would suggest going up a size not a half size go up a whole size because to me it ran small the one thing i didn't like is the shoe squeaks so loud i don't know if it's the bottom or what but it's so loud y'all remember that that hip hop song in the 90s where the bed was like e -e -e -e. that's what these giving when i walked down the hall that's what these was giving okay you heard me before you saw me. all right up next Nike Air Vapor Max Plus. Again, came across these when I was looking for some shoes for work. Love it's all black. I like how they added clear on the bottom to add a little something. Not too much. Um, you know I'm a mid girl, so they were low top. I decided to give them a try. Never had these bottoms before. I like that. And I will say the Nike Air Vapor Max Plus is very very comfortable now i don't know maybe it's just uh, the size i bought maybe just the size i am i don't know but they squeak a lot if you've never had a shoe with this type of bottom it takes some getting used to i will say that like my first time wear and even now when i wear them so i can't just say it was my first time wearing them no it's like getting a, a new pair of heels you gotta break your ankles in there's gonna be a lot of ankle breaking okay to get used to this bottom but so comfortable worth the broken ankles all right so that's the shoe talk for today a quick little shoe review on the nike air vapor max 360 versus the nike air vapor max plus if i had to choose which one i would rock i'm gonna go with the nike air vapor max plus i cannot stress enough how comfortable these shoes are don't get me wrong, they are loud on certain floors, but so comfortable. So if I had to choose one, I'm a Nike Vapor Max Plus girl. Y'all can have a 360. All right, so before I go, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.